Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Griffin here. And in today's video, we're speaking about the metaverse and more specifically metaverse stocks. So these are companies that are going to benefit either directly or indirectly from the growing industry that is the metaverse, which we're hearing about quite a bit more recently. We're seeing massive companies entering the space, like for example, Facebook that has literally rebranded to meta platforms to further solidify their intent moving forward. New NFT projects like meta billionaires playing off of the whole metaverse trend and even plots of digital land that are for sale on the sandbox metaverse. And they're not cheap. We're talking about $6,000 give or take for the cheapest, smallest plot of land that there is in this metaverse. And there are many large companies even that have already taken a position in this digital metaverse land. Now, before we cover specific stocks and companies that can benefit from the growing industry of the metaverse, let's first speak about what the metaverse even is in the first place. Because right now, this is kind of like a buzzword on the internet. And for many viewers, this might be completely new territory, especially when it comes to investment purposes around the metaverse. All right, so the metaverse isn't necessarily just one single place as its name would suggest, right? Just because Facebook rebranded to meta doesn't necessarily make it the one and only metaverse. Rather, they'll be offering a metaverse that its users can dive into. In reality though, there will be multiple different metaverses offered by various different companies that uh, users can utilize. And to an extent, there are already certain metaverses already kind of in existence, like for example, the video game Second Life that launched back in 2003. However, what we're looking at right now is a lot more of an actual dynamic, immersive 3D world with haptic gloves, goggles, things of that nature, so that you can have more of an immersive experience. So yeah, with technology where it is right now though, what we're looking at for the metaverse moving forward will be a fully immersive 3D environment that offers virtual and augmented reality, somewhat like what the movie Ready Player One has offered a taste of back in 2018. Okay, so we now have a better idea of what the metaverse is and what type of opportunities it can offer. But what about its potential size moving forward? Because realistically, a massive company like Facebook that has a market capitalization above a trillion dollars isn't just going to fully rebrand on a fad or a small opportunity. Well, of course, according to various different sources, there are different projections for the size of this industry over the next decade. But according to emergent research, the size of the multiverse industry was only around 47 billion in 2020, but is expected to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of 43.3%, which is absolutely massive, by the way, for an entire industry to grow at this pace over a sustained period of time. And what's more is that the revenue forecasts for the metaverse industry are expected to be in the waters of 830 billion USD by 2028. I've even seen other research papers estimating that it'll reach this 800 billion mark sooner than that by around 2026. So can Considering net income and revenue multiples that these tech companies are able to fetch in the first place right now, the whole multiverse industry is going to be a monumental industry by the end of the decade, that is guaranteed. What's also important to recognize here in regards to the metaverse is that there are multiple different layers that go into the development as well as sustained growth of a metaverse in the first place, meaning that there are going to be multiple different companies from various different industries that all have a hand in the growth and expansion of this industry over the coming years, right? So as we can see from this chart, there are around seven different layers representing industries identified to the building and sustainability of metaverses such as the infrastructure, human interfaces, decentralization, special computing, the creator economy, discovery, and then the experience, which includes games, social, shopping, and much more. So with this in mind, metaverse stocks would therefore represent a company that's going to take advantage of either one or multiple of these facets to build out the metaverse right now and in the future. All right, so considering all of this, we're now going to be speaking about various different companies and their stock that will have a hand in the development of the metaverse now and in the future. I do wanna say this right now though, these are not necessarily stocks to buy right now. Rather, if you're interested in an investment in metaverse stocks per se, I would sooner make a metaverse stock watch list in your brokerage account and keep an eye on these companies moving forward because they're all over the board here. Some of them are at all time high valuations. Others have been sold off 
off by over 50%. All of these though are different stocks that have an impact on one of the facets of the development of the metaverse. And by the way, if at any point in today's video you're enjoying it, make sure to drop an early like. It takes me a ton of time to make these videos and I really appreciate it when you drop a like on the video. Also, quick reminder here, I have a Black Friday sale running on my full stock market investing course. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to check out the link down below. I only open it up to 25 spots and as of the filming right now, there's only nine spots left. So 25% off, link down in the description. Let's get right into the first metaverse stock. Okay, diving into the first company in today's video to take advantage of the metaverse. Of course, we have, well, Facebook that recently rebranded to Metaverse Platforms, Meta, meta Platforms, that is. Uh, ticker symbol FB on the NASDAQ for the time being. It is going to change to Meta as of December 1st, I think, or January. Anyways, uh, the stock trades for right around $333 per share, which happens to be down around 12% from its all-time high as it stands right now from its peak back in September of this year. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, then you would know I'm a fan of Facebook. I've been holding the stock for a while, and despite everything that's going Going on from a political standpoint and this company being in media crossfires constantly, it is an absolute monster of a company. It's one of the most profitable companies in the world. It has an amazing track record and I think that despite the criticism towards this company, it's going to continue thriving over the next 10 years with their core businesses as well as their expansion now into the metaverse. But that's just my personal opinion. Now it was certainly an extremely bold move to come out and basically say that they're going to be rebranding their entire company that is pretty much a house household name at this point to shift towards their growing uh, focus towards the metaverse, that was an extremely bold move. And as much as the company and Mark Zuckerberg got a lot of backlash for this, ultimately, I expect that this is going to be a win for the company's continued growth moving forward. This company already has a hardware advantage when it comes to the integration with the metaverse with their Oculus segment, which will get rebranded fully to Meta, by the way. And considering the fact that the company has just under 3 billion monthly active users on Facebook, Facebook, this is sure to play to their first mover advantage in this space. Overall though, as with pretty much all the companies we're going to be speaking about in today's video, none of these are going to benefit immensely from the metaverse in the mid to short term. Rather, these are companies that are going to benefit over the longer haul, at least three years down the line from the growth of the metaverse as it really takes shape and forms as something that people are using more on a day-to-day -day basis. But Facebook, or should I say meta platforms at this point, is sure to be one of these companies that will undoubtedly benefit from this industry. All right, moving on to the second stock to add to your metaverse stock watch list, we have Tencent Holdings, ticker symbol T-C-E-H-Y on the OTC markets in the United States. Now, right off the bat, I will mention this is a Chinese company. So if you're not comfortable with that, well, this is obviously not a company that would be suitable for you. And it's also a company that therefore is going to be impacted by government involvement. This is just a reality that we've seen over the past year or so, even with other companies such as Alibaba, JD.com, and other large cap companies in the Chinese market. In fact, just this past week, Tencent was hit with yet another fine in these ongoing monopoly issues. So that's absolutely something that you need to keep in mind if you do ever choose to take a position in a Chinese company, period. All right, so as a side note here, another Chinese company that on paper is doing fantastic, Alibaba. I have a position in Alibaba and despite my conviction in the long-term growth of the e-com market over in China, as well as their other segments, and the fact that just on paper, this company is growing financially at a tremendous pace, the stock has just been dumping further down over the past year, mainly as a result of investor pessimism with stocks that trade in the Chinese market. With that said though, Tencent stock as it stands right now trades for right around $59 a share and is down tremendously from its all-time high though that it hit back in February of this year. So right now it's down around 40% and as with, again, other Chinese stocks, just cannot seem to catch a break despite tremendous underlying financial growth. However, this could potentially represent a nicer opportunity to get into this position for its longer term growth, despite that government involvement that has a negative impact impact on the stock's price point. Now for a bit more context though on what this company even does in the first place, this is a company that operates many different business segments. However, their largest ones are video games as well as social networking. In fact, it owns a handful of game studios such as Epic Games that released Fortnite and is also the parent company of the social media network WeChat that has over 1.3 billion users. 
And so from a metaverse standpoint, I could definitely see Tencent start blending together uh, their, the physical world with virtual worlds through all of their video games, especially something like Fortnite that could definitely have a full metaverse play to it. And then they've also started focusing on creating their own semiconductors and cloud-based enterprise software applications, which of course could be extremely useful in the future for sustaining metaverse applications as we're going to be speaking about further in the video. In the meantime though, Tencent has been growing tremendously from an underlying financial standpoint, both top and bottom line. Again though, this is strictly a company that could benefit from the growing industry that is the metaverse over the next three, five, 10 years. And I would definitely consider adding it to a metaverse stock watch list if it is of interest to you, especially considering how much it is sold off in the past year. Moving into stock number three here that has direct ties with the metaverse, we have Unity Software, ticker symbol U on the N. YSC. And this is a stock that we actually spoke about on the channel a little while back while it was continuously selling off for the better part of six months. Well, this stock has since taken right back off, appreciating by around 150% from 52 week low to high point and has now sold off again by roughly 15%, which is normal to see after such a large rally in a short period of time. Now, Unity Software is a company that offers a game engine that's used primarily for the development of, of course, video games as well as 3D environments. So of course, this is why the company has a direct link and impact on the development of the metaverse over the coming years, as the creation of 3D immersive worlds will be paramount for the entire metaverse, and this can be built out using Unity's game engine. Now in more recent news, the company has acquired Weta Digital, which is a visual effects technology company that's expected to add around $70 million of revenue in 2022 to Unity's top line. The idea here was to allow Unity to expand its total addressable market through targeting new industries such as NFTs, as well as video production and more. And the way this acquisition kind of ties into the whole metaverse play is that this will most likely allow Unity to start really having more of a hand in the NFT digital marketplace that's going to live within the metaverse moving forward, where we're most likely going to start attributing more value moving forward to our goods owned in the metaverse. For now though, this is kind of just speculation as to what could be to come in terms of NFT marketplace considering Unity's recent acquisition. And Unity's core offering still remains its game and Engine, which offers digital infrastructures that developers can use to create digital worlds. And they have announced a partnership with TriPolygon, which is a 3D modeling service for metaverse applications. From a financial standpoint though, in more of the short term, analysts are forecasting revenues to grow by around 41% this fiscal year, reaching 1.1 billion, and by 28.4% the following fiscal year, reaching around 1.4 billion. And the recent price rally has brought the underlying company valuation to extremely high levels considering the fact that this is not a profitable company as it stands right now. So considering all of this, I don't necessarily think that Unity Software is a buy as it stands right now. Had it been purchased a couple months back when we spoke about it on the channel, could have been more of an opportune uh, buying time. However, right now, considering the recent price rally and increased relative valuation of this company, considering uh, you know their growth in financials over the coming year, I would sooner wait to see uh, this stock sort of consolidate holiday back down to a level where we can see a bit more resistance for continued growth over the coming years. As a longer term play though, in the meta space, this is definitely an interesting company to keep an eye on. By the way, at this point, we're around halfway through the video. If you're enjoying it, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to be notified of new and upcoming stock market investing content. Let's now get into stock number four that will have a direct or indirect impact with the metaverse. This is a company that offers cloud infrastructure Structure, which of course is going to be highly relevant for supporting the metaverse and providing it with the required level of bandwidth. So the company is Fastly, ticker symbol FSLY, and this is not a stock that we've spoken about on the channel. I have kept an eye on it though for the better part of a year at this point, as it has been uh, kind of more of like a, a hyped up stock over the past year, but it's one of these growth stocks that's had an extremely rough past year. 
<clears throat> Corsair, right? Fastly stock is down roughly 65% from its all time highs back in February of this year. And realistically, we haven't really seen any concrete forms of reversal for it, but there does seem to be some key resistance here at around the $40 per share mark. Now, Fastly is an American cloud computing company that offers an edge computing infrastructure as a service platform to companies and their developers. What's pretty insane is that the company's platform can move up to 145 terabytes worth of data per second to over 28 countries. And so that's a ton of data. And as more individuals start utilizing these extremely data intensive uh, metaverse applications, rendering 3D worlds in real time, the need for massive amounts of data is only going to increase both from a company like Fastly as well as pretty much any of its competitors, really. Let's now talk about Fastly's financials though, because the stock is absolutely tanked. It must be for a reason. First of all, the company has been growing their top line quite aggressively over the past several years with steady revenue growth quarter over quarter over quarter and even 17% revenue growth from 2020 to the trailing 12 months. The main issue really lies though in their net income losses, which have been growing quite rapidly year over year. And while growth stocks over the past two years have had major valuation run-ups based on future growth and earnings potential, more recently, we've seen quite a few of these growth-oriented stocks lose a lot of that momentum that they had gained with the markets shifting. In addition to this, despite the expected continued growth of their top line over the coming years, as well as their potential benefits fit from the metaverse play, the company is expected to continue increasing their net loss over the coming years, which could hinder the stock's growth even further. And this is a stock that I would only consider if you do have a higher tolerance for risk in your investor profile and your portfolio in general. In addition to this though, based on that same logic that companies that offer cloud infrastructure will somewhat have a, a role in the growth of the metaverse moving forward, well, pretty much any one of these cloud infrastructure and cloud data providers will also benefit, right? Like for example, companies like Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN with their Amazon Web Services division, which is one of their fastest growing business facets. By the way, I haven't spoken about Amazon in about a month at this point. However, I'm still just so bullish on this company moving forward. I think it's one of the best companies in the world that in the next 10 years will be among still the top five largest companies in the world. Other companies though that can also benefit from the growing need of cloud computing for the metaverse and other applications would be for example Alphabet, so Google, as well as well of course Microsoft as they're a main player in the cloud computing space. And actually speaking about Microsoft, it is the next stock we're going to be diving into in today's video. So Microsoft is of course a mega cap American tech company with a market capitalization above $2.5 trillion as we speak, which is absolutely mind blowing, but makes sense considering the fact that this company is pretty much just bulletproof with their different business facets that are leading industry players in each one of their respective industries. So Microsoft stock trades for around $340 a share and has provided shareholders with nice gains over the past several years, right? Taking a look at their five year chart, you'll rarely see stocks that grow as consistently as Microsoft with gains of around 60% in the past 12 months. This brings Microsoft's current PE though at around 37X, which is above the company's three year average PE and among its highest levels. However, we've seen Microsoft comfortably trade for these levels in the past. So I'm not necessarily saying that Microsoft is going to sustain this momentum over the next coming years. However, it's just a monster of a company from a financial standpoint with unreal financial growth over the past several years, both from a top and bottom line standpoint. Now above the fact that Microsoft has a hand in the metaverse sort of space here with their cloud computing and infrastructure facet of the business, they are also directly thinking about metaverse integration within their existing suite of products like Dynamics 365 connected spaces, which will allow companies to recreate and visit their work factory floors or retail stores during virtual meetings to boost collaboration, troubleshoot and directly interact with their products product spaces, which I think is really interesting. And they're also thinking about metaverse application or integration really with their other platforms and services, such as for example, Microsoft Teams with in-person avatars and things of that nature. 
And let's not forget Microsoft's direct metaverse capabilities potentially with their entire gaming segment, which is well the Xbox that has a massive user base already looking for that next level of gaming, which a metaverse side to this will have a massive impact on the continued integration and growth of the Xbox segment. So Microsoft is definitely a metaverse stock if there's ever been one and is definitely one of the better longer term plays in today's video. All right, moving on to the next meta related stock here. What would this video be if we didn't speak about semiconductors? Now, even though there is a worldwide shortage of semiconductors and chips right now, well, pretty much everything in this day and age requires a chip in some form from refrigerators connecting to the internet of things to crypto miners utilizing GPUs and other hardware that requires semiconductors. Vehicles are also utilizing chips for their smarter driving capabilities and of course, more powerful home computers requiring increasingly effective chips, especially now with being able to properly render these 3D immersive metaverse worlds. Now, in a recent video, I spoke about Taiwan Semiconductor, ticker symbol TSM, which is one of the world leaders in chip manufacturing. I'm personally bullish longer term on this company and its continued growth benefiting from what we just spoke about. The main difference though between a company like TSM versus say Nvidia, which has been on an absolute tear this past year is that Nvidia pretty much just designs the actual cutting edge tech and then outsources the manufacturing of their hardware as well as their chips to other producers. Whereas on the other hand, TSM is a pure manufacturing and production play, which in the world of investing typically does not commend as high of a valuation. So although I believe the increased need for chips and semiconductors as a whole over the next five to 10 years will undoubtedly benefit both companies in one way or another, Nvidia has been seeing much more investor enthusiasm recently in part because of their financial figures crushing analyst estimates this past quarter. There's no denying the fact that Nvidia's financials have been quite fantastic over the past couple of quarters. However, this has also come with, well, that boosted price point, which has in turn impacted this company's underlying relative stock valuation relative to itself in the past, as well as the industry. So considering this, Nvidia trades at a forward PE in excess of 50X, which is very high, around double that of the S&P 500 as of right now. Manufacturing extremely powerful chips though is undoubtedly going to be a very important and key element in the growth of the metaverse and being able to actually run it on uh, home PCs as well as other hardware. However, right now with Nvidia's extremely high valuation, if this isn't something necessarily that you're comfortable with, I would recommend going back to an exchange trade fund. In fact, this is the last position we're going to be speaking about in today's video. It is the exchange traded fund ticker symbol meta offered by Round Hill Investments. And it is the Round Hill Ball Metaverse ETF, ticker symbol Meta, that trades for around $16 a share as of right now, which of course, as an exchange traded fund that is focused towards a specific industry, gives exposure to multiple different companies that again, will have a hand in at least one of those seven layers of the metaverse. In fact, there are around 40 holdings right now in this fund with over $730 million in assets under management. The Meta ETF offers investors exposure to companies in gaming, computer components, cloud solutions, and social networking with top holdings such as Nvidia, Roblox, Microsoft, Meta Platforms, Unity, and many more. Now, as with most industry specific or alternative ETFs, we could call them such as this one, the Meta ETF has a higher MER at 0.75% meaning $10,000 invested would be $75 a year in management fees. So despite the fact that it does have a slightly higher MER than other more passively managed exchange traded funds, I think that this is an exchange traded fund that could be useful for an investor who does want that longer term exposure to the metaverse and the growth of this industry over the next three, five, 10 years, but isn't necessarily interested in hand selecting just one or two of the stocks that we mentioned in today's video specifically, which considering the current market environment could show higher levels of volatility on an individual level. So with all that said, I really hope you enjoyed today's video covering what the metaverse is, the industry potential, as well as some specific companies that operate in different layers of the metaverse. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What are some stocks that you're watching that will be impacted by the growth of the metaverse? I'd love to know. Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to learn more about stock market investing, definitely subscribe to the channel. We speak about stock market investing weekly on this channel multiple times 
times a week. And I would also encourage you to, once again, check out the Black Friday sale on my full stock market investing course. There's a link down in the description and there's only around seven or eight spots available as of right now, as I'm filming this left in that sale coupon. So with that said, thanks a lot for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one.